Hi, this is Dr. Jeff Kumro, and I want to talk to you today about something that is very, very important. Last night I caught just a little bit of TV, and in that time I caught a commercial that said, bear aspirin, we decreased the amount of heart attacks. It's, it's not true. It, it's never going to be true. Like the research behind this all shows that if you take aspirin, it decreases the risk of dying from a second heart attack or stroke. It doesn't decrease the number of heart attacks or strokes, whether it be your first heart attack or your second heart attack, your third heart attack, any of that. The numbers still stay the same. It doesn't decrease the risk of death from your first heart attack. But if you've had a heart attack in the past, it decreases the risk of dying from another heart attack. Your doctor's probably told you the same thing. You take bare aspirin and, you know, it's, what it, what, what's it going to hurt? A lot is the answer. It beats up your stomach. It beats up a lot of other systems in the body. And if your stomach's not working correctly, you know what that ends up? You know, there, there are a lot of pathways that end up beating up your heart. That's important. Now, am I saying that your medical doctor is wrong? No, I'm saying that he's a little bit misinformed a lot of times on recommendations like this. The research actually shows that more people end up in the hospital because of the aspirin that they're taking than, than aspirin actually saves us in the long run. So the amount of money spent on hospitalizations is actually higher than the amount of money that is, that is saved by people taking the aspirin. Like I said, it's important to know. Now the concerning part of this to me is, A, we're getting misinformed by, by major media and the FDA is doing nothing about it. That's sad. B, you know, there's, there's a lot of misinformation from other sources out there. C, we're looking for answers in the wrong places. So we're looking to decrease a lifestyle disease. Do you think you're going to find that answer in a bottle? It's just not going to happen. It's a lifestyle disease for a reason. You have to change your lifestyle. Now there are a lot of things that you can do to decrease the risk of heart attack and stroke. Exercise is great. Decreasing the amount of stress you're under is, is phenomenal. Changing your diet is always recommended and you're going to see a lot of other benefits from these things. It's not just going to be the decreased risk of heart attack and stroke. That's the only way you're going to find an answer to this though. It's not going to be in a bottle we have to start looking for better solutions in better places. If you want to talk more about this, give me a call, 402-873-6999. Share this information with your friends and family. It's very important, and like I said, we're not getting correct information out there. If we can share this message, we can change the way we're looking at health. Like I said, we've got to be more proactive. We can't be reactive. We can't look for, for the answer in a pill bottle. It's just not going to come, especially for something like this. You have to change your lifestyle. Let's check where you're at. Let's see what we can do to get you healthy and get you moving down the road to health.